I'm Dr. Chris Doherty. I'm a board-certified orthopedic surgeon, fellowship trained in sports medicine with the Agility Center in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here we're using the Nova Stitch Plus device to repair a lateral meniscus. This is a complex tear. We have our posterior horn tear that you've already seen. We also have this horizontal split that's in this middle one-third to anterior horn. This is a location that's very difficult to get to utilizing the Nova Stitch Plus device. You can see we're probing our split. We know that we need to repair this. If we excise this large volume of meniscus, this patient is going to be at high risk for arthritis at a very young 17-year-old male. So by making a more medial portal, like we would often make for a far medial portal for a ACL reconstruction, we're able to access a greater percentage of this meniscus. We're going to play simple barrel stitches initially, one anterior to the popliteal tendon and one posterior to this. You can see the tendon in the background. By barrel stitches, I mean I'm just going to pass one limb of the suture, retrieve out the far side, and then tie over the edge. So as we continue our repair more anteriorly, with our far medial portal, we're able to gain a greater bit of access. We're going to extend our lower jaw. You can angle the device. You just want to make sure that you don't angle so far that you might miss the jaws. Deploying suture around the meniscus and into the upper jaw, we're grasping a good portion of the capsule. Again, we're tying barrel stitches for this horizontal split. You can see my knife coming in through my lateral portal. I'm going to take my number 11 blade and incise just below the meniscus into the capsule. This allows me at the meniscal capsule junction to either pass suture underneath the meniscus with a crab claw type suture retriever or pass the Novo Stitch jaw into my capsule rent. So here comes our hemostat to make sure that we've punctured through the meniscal capsule junction. I could have delivered a suture right at this point and simply dropped it, retrieved it over the top and tied a simple stitch. Or in this case, I'm going to pass the Novo Stitch lower jaw through that rent and then fire into the upper jaw and tie. So here we're bringing our Novo Stitch Plus, extend our lower jaw in through the rent. And by working it side to side, we're able to get it in through our rent that we've made and then just pass the needle. So now we'll retrieve our suture back outside and go ahead and tie this. And we're going to pass one more anterior that I simply pushed through and retrieved over the top to make a nice, easy repair of a difficult anterior horn. You can see that we still have a little bit of split left that I'd like to close down. So we're going to switch back to our far medial portal, angle the device, and go ahead and pass the suture once more retrieving into our upper jaw, and then simply tying these. I tie all these with a sliding west knot, locked and backed off. So here now we're back onto our posterior horn of the same meniscus. We're working through the lateral portal, visualizing medially. I'm taking great care to ensure that I've got a good grasp of the meniscus to get my suture placement where I want, to avoid the meniscus from sliding out of the jaws when I push my needle through. So this is our last pass here. You can see how I'm getting a good firm grasp on the meniscus before trying to extend my second needle. The first one's already passed. And once we retrieve our sutures, we'll go ahead and tie these. So you can see we've got a nice repair of our posterior horn, moving to our middle one-third, and then onto our anterior horn. Excellent repairs achieved with the Nova Stitch Plus.